Hello everyone, my name is Jen. Welcome to my channel. This is a channel about cross stitch and the other crafty things that I get up to. However, today is something different. Today I'm going to do a dimensions cross stitch kit parade. I'm hoping to do all of my dimensions kits in one video, um, although I may need to break it up between golds and regulars, but you will know from the title of this video if it's part one or if it's broken into parts or if it is just one. So I am trying to find the best light for this. I was really hoping not to be in this video, so you're only gonna see portions of my face here and there <clears throat> because I just wanted to talk about my kits. So um, yeah, if you are looking for a regular floss tube, tube update, that should probably be coming in three or four weeks. And today is just all about the dimensions kits. I did make a dimensions kit parade in 2020 and I thought it was time to do another one because I do have more kits and I was hoping the light would be a little bit better this time around. Um, I'm not sure. I think just also by the nature of the dimensions packaging, there will still be glare. Um, I'll try to minimize that as much as I can, but if not, I do apologize in advance. Um, okay, so I do just want to get started. I have a lot of Dimensions kits. A lot. Um, will I stitch them all? Probably not. I don't know that I would actually live that long. <laughs> but I, I know I'm not alone in that. Um, I'm glad I have that I did purchase the kits when I did because some of them are no longer available and some of them are a lot more expensive or shipping is a lot more expensive. So I'm glad I do have those. So I stitched my first dimensions kit, which is the one I'm holding right now. Um, I can't remember what it's called and it was under the Sunset brand, which I believe is older dimensions. So this was the first one I ever stitched. And up until then, I never thought of stitching kits because I recalled the days when you had to sort floss. So when I had seen this in the store and the floss was already sorted on those handy dandy little organizers, I thought I'd give it a try. And I really liked it. This one is on a pre-printed Ada. So I stitched the leaves and the butterflies and everything else was already printed on there. If you can see, there's like old letters and things. So this was my first one, and then I really started collecting kits starting in 2019. So along with my Dimensions kits, I do have a bunch of other kits, but today I'm just going to show Dimensions. So I thought I would start with Dimensions Gold. Um, yeah, sorry, I have no great background today. So here is a stocking, cardinal sled stocking. I'm going to try to keep the phrases, this is so pretty, and I really need to stitch this to a minimum because they're all so pretty. I love them all. And yes, I would like to stitch them all. I just don't know if that's going to happen. So I thought this would be nice to stitch. Uh, I know when my kids leave home, they will want to take their own Christmas stockings with them, which are not cross-stitched. And I thought it would be nice to just stitch some in their place after they leave. So I've just been collecting some stockings, some stocking patterns. Um, you know, perhaps they will have spouses one day and children of their own who will also need stockings. And what's this guy called? Sorry, Enchanted Ornament Stocking. Now, most of my kits I purchase from Amazon. Probably the next place that I have bought the most Dimensions kits, which is not a lot, is Charting Creations out of Nova Scotia. I think this one is really cute. Holiday Glow Stocking. Now there was a way before I could angle these with not too much glare. And I there's I believe there's a well there is because I'm going to show it to you. There's another there's a gold petite that has this, but he's holding a bird. Uh, 
This is Snowman and Friends. Those are sweet little animals down there. And this one has really beautiful colors in that. This is Christmas Village ornaments. You see this quite a bit. So these are all little full coverage pieces. I suspect this would be like stitching a gold petite ornament just, you know, six times over. There's a lot of detail in these little scenes, but oh my, how sweet are those? And I hope I'm not going too fast, but like I said, I have a lot. Okay, I thought that was it for the Christmas. Okay, I know there's another Christmas one, I just don't know where it went. Okay, so this is not in the kit because I am stitching this one right now. It, and it's taking me forever. Um, I will show my progress in my next floss tube update, but I feel like I'm never going to get out of this beautiful Japanese garden, which I suppose is okay because it is so beautiful, but I really do have a lot of things I need to stitch. Oh, here we go. Here's the other Christmas one. Playful snowman ornaments. Every once in a while, you'll find this on Amazon for a really, really good price. Uh, here's another one not in the package, uh, Wreath of All Seasons, and that's because I am also working on this. I haven't touched it in a while, but it's in the hoop, which is why it's not in the package. Another beautiful one. This one is actually not terribly difficult. There is a lot of back stitching, but you only use two strands of floss and it's just full crosses. So that's kind of a refreshing change after some of the other ones. Okay, you'll see a theme here probably pretty quickly of the things that I like. Uh, Winter's Hush. And what I love most about, or one of the things I love most about Dimensions kits is the way that they do the lighting. I mean, you really do feel like there's lights on in that house, there's lights in the window. Um, the lighting and the detail are what attract me the most to these kits. I mean, it's beautiful subject matter too, but. A treasure time, that beautiful sky. I think this one would probably be a little bit of a bear to do all the back stitching in these houses. Oriental Splendor. Apparently this is one of the most difficult ones to do, which is really unfortunate. <laughs> I mean, if Japanese garden is taking me so long, I might have to take two decades to stitch this one. Peonies and Delphiniums. Gorgeous colors in there. This is new for me. I just received this a couple weeks ago. This is called Summer Bouquet. I have been on the fence for years about this one because I thought next to, you know, like next to this one, it just doesn't seem as detailed or I don't know, as finely rendered. Um, I did decide to get it because I thought if it does go out of print, I would probably be upset about it. And then once I got it and I put it up next to this one and Oriental Splendor and then another one that I'll show you, I thought that they would all actually really go nicely together. But I just didn't feel like, for instance, this vase actually looks better on the monitor than in person. It just seemed very, I don't know, um, kind of basic. 
But who knows? It could be one of those instances where when it's stitched, it's just beautiful. And I find that with most Dimensions kits. If I see one, I think, well, that's pretty, but I don't know how nice it is. And then you see it stitched up and it just takes your breath away. So I'm hoping that would be the same. Uh, peonies and Canterbury Bells. Trying to see what's glaring off there. It's just, anyway, Peonies and Canterbury Bells. And I think they do such a great job with the, um, the water and all of these vases. So I love it when they have the open vase. Parrot Tulips. Not an open vase, but that's a stunner for sure. So I bought this one after my daughter and I went to the Tulip Festival in Ottawa in 2019, I guess it was. And that's another reason I'll buy kits is they will remind me of a special event or a special place that I've been to. So it's almost like a scrapbook of stitches. And I do enjoy just even going through my kits and looking at them and uh, remembering those things, those times and those places. Flowers of Joy. This is stitched on black. Black Ada, which will be kind of difficult. So um, I'm not sure how that's gonna work. But the colors in this, I mean, really, it was the colors that attracted me the most. And I think this one is 14 count, but because it's on black beta, it's, it will still be difficult. And pretty much all of the Dimensions Golds are on 18 count. There's a few exceptions, you know, based on the color. If it's gray, if it's on gray beta, then that's usually a 16 count. I don't think the gray comes in 18. Chickadees and Lilacs. So I'm just proven wrong. This is actually on 14 count ivory Ada. So that might be a start sooner than later. Just gorgeous colors. I mean, look at that. Butterfly Forest. As far as I know, um, everything that I've shown you so far is still in print and easily available either on Amazon, eBay, Etsy, your local needle workshop. I never had a local needle, a local needle workshop until just recently. So that's why most of mine come from online, online vendors. And I thought that this one would be pretty if you maybe added some sparkling blending filament. It doesn't come with blending filament, but if you just wanted to add a little bit of extra, I thought that would lend itself to that quite well. Butterfly Beauty. I like the colors in this, but I don't like the finished one as well as Butterfly Forest, I think. I mean, they're both pretty, but I think I do prefer this one. Butterfly Forest. But yet yeah, the colors in this are very joyful and happy. I think it would be a lot of fun to work on this one. And sorry for wiggling. Yeah, this one's on 14 count Ada too. So just forget what I said, because I've obviously just, <laughs> I was obviously wrong. They don't all come on 18 count Ada. So 14 count Ada and lots of colors. Um, the thing with this one, though, it's not it's not a printed Ada, so you see all of this text in the background. This might be one that I would actually switch the fabric out to an even leave just to make that process a little bit easier. 
Normally I don't switch out the fabric in my kits unless I've, you know, seen somebody do it with a different color. Um, because, you know, you do buy the kit, it comes with the fabric and everything, the fabric and the thread, so just use the kit. But for that one, I probably would switch it out just to make it easier. I don't mind the look of Ada. That doesn't bother me at all. I know some people just don't like the looks of it. That doesn't bother me, but trying to do all that back stitching on um, Ada, I don't enjoy. Uh, this was thankfully a reprint, The Finery of Nature. And again, this one is on black, as you can see. But everybody who's stitching on this says they like it because they can do one section and they feel a great sense of accomplishment. And that's probably why I'm struggling so much with Japanese garden is I just feel like I stitch and stitch and stitch and stitch and I'm not seeing anything. But very, very beautiful. Lots of couching in this one. I don't know if those are beads or French knots for the Lily of the Valley, but either way, I enjoy doing both of those. Um, couching, I can definitely use some work. And I think I would get all the practice I needed out of this one because all of this gold around these leaves is couching. And that's where you take your thread and you lay it on the surface in a shape and then you just tack it down over top. So it's different from back stitching in that way. You can get nicer lines. This was another recent acquisition for me, Royal Peacock. I did get this one from Charting Creations. I, I got the last one. I'm not sure if this is out of print or not. It is a little bit harder to find. And again, beautiful colors. This is also on 14 count, my goodness. I just made a liar of myself right from the beginning but beautiful, beautiful. So this was one initially I, you know, when I started collecting kits in 2019, I, I didn't think I would want. Um, and I probably, part of the reason I did was because it was getting harder to find and I thought I should just get it. Um, now that I do have it, I'm glad because I, I like the, the fact that it's 14 count Ada and also um, the colors are really beautiful. Romantic Floral. Of all my kits, this one is probably near the bottom of what I would stitch. It's kind of not my style. My daughter really likes it. Um, but there's a lot of ones that she likes. The artwork is very pretty. I'm sure it's gorgeous when it's worked up and it's stitched on a light brown Ada, 14 count. But yeah, um, of basically of everything that I've showed you so far, this would be the, my last choice to stitch. I think I bought it because when I was just starting to collect it, I was like collecting, well, I wasn't collecting all the dimensions, but anything with flowers, I kind of was. And this was a really good price too, which heavily influenced me and I shouldn't do that. But anyway, the good thing about dimensions kits is they're pretty easy to unload if you have to. Uh, this one is out of print, Soul of the Rose. This one I found at a thrift store a couple of years ago. And when I walked into the thrift store, it came in the package. It looked just like this. It had the fabric. It has the chart. And it had a note on it that said chart only. Um, I picked it up anyway because I thought I could somehow figure it out. And then the next day I went back to the thrift store and there was a box of floss that had already been wound up onto bobbins and they recognized the numbers as dimensions. And I thought, well, I can get it and just have an extra set of, you know, extra dimensions floss if I need it. And it turns out it was the floss for this chart, which is really quite amazing when you think about it. So yes, I think it was meant to be. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Uh, this is, what's this called? Celestial Angel. This was another thrift shop find recently. 
They had quite a few there, Dimension School collections. And first I put them all in my cart. And then I was thinking, you know what? Like some of these I don't even like. I just put them in my cart because they're Dimensions. So the ones I knew I probably wouldn't stitch, I put them back because they were probably somebody else's unicorns. And I don't need to be greedy because I have enough, as you can clearly see. And we're not even halfway done. But she's very pretty. I do have to sort the threads on this. I don't love it, but for a chart that I really like, I don't mind doing it. This is Wind Moon Fairy. I basically bought this because it reminded me of my daughter. She loves cats. She loves fairies. She loves all things celestial. Will I get it stitched for her? Uh, I certainly hope so. Beautiful colors in that, and that's also stitched on a gray, 16 count gray, Ada. So that will be quite nice. Now this one, I actually only have the chart. I found this in a thrift store. This chart has never really appealed to me that much. Um, but I don't know, for the couple of dollars that this was, and it has the chart, um, I thought, well, I'll just get it and we shall see what happens. Maybe I'll look for cord or matching floss or maybe I will just give this away to somebody else later. I would have to see this stitched because right now it's not like really speaking to me. Here is Fall Fairy. It's a very popular one. And I mean, you can see why, because it's absolutely gorgeous. Woodland Enchantress. I love her cloak. It's very I don't know, it's very beautiful. And then the last of the fairies I have is Spring Fairy. And I know there is a Summer Fairy and I imagine I will pick her up at some point. Um, she is on my Amazon wish list. So again, beautiful. I love the little swallowtail butterflies that show up in them. And this is also stitched on a gray 16 count Ada. But I probably should have been telling you all these things as we're going, but I have so many. I didn't want this um, kit parade to be hours and hours. As it is, I'm pretty sure it's going to be, well, it'll be well over an hour. All right, box number two. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is out of print. I got this one as well from Charting Creations last year. I think I did get the last one. Fields of Lavender. If you've watched my channel for any length of time, you know I love France and anything to do with France, pretty much. So um, when I saw this one, that was a no-brainer. Beautiful threads. And this is also stitched on 14 Count Ada. So I'm kind of wondering if there was a date to which they switched from 14 to 18 count. I'm not really sure. Guardian of the Sea. This was a recent Amazon purchase. And to be honest, I thought it was going to be a fake because all they showed in the listing picture was this picture but I saw this because there are a lot of fakes out there of this one. Um, they, and then in the description, they said uh, gold collection, but the price was so good. I thought this has got to be a fake, but based on the things that they showed and the description, that would have been enough for me to dispute it and get my money back if it was a fake. And you know what? It wasn't. And if it is, it's a very good one but it has all the packaging and everything. So you just never know, keep watching. Yeah. 
Rocky Point. I think like everything else, it was this part of the chart that's kind of a sucker for me. Like I said, the way that they do the light in these kits is just amazing. Although I will say that this also is near the bottom of the things that I would stitch. Um, I would say it's a step above the floral um, symphony one. But it's beautiful. They're all beautiful. Winter Cabin, this was, yeah, this was probably the very bottom one I would stitch. It's, I mean, I do love a landscape and I love cardinals. Um, you know what? I bought this one because it was $11. And that's the only reason why. So this is at the very bottom of my list. If you're looking for this chart, it is still on Amazon. I think now it's gone up to $20, but that's still less than half price of what it normally is. So if you like it, I would suggest getting on there and, <laughs> and getting it. Um, I mean, I'm going to keep it just for the fact that, well, I did pay for it. Um, you just never know. There might be somebody that really, really likes this and I can either gift it to them. Or if there's somebody, one of my kids really wanted this stitched, I would stitch it for them. It's a very peaceful scene. Sweet Memories. This is lovely. This is stitched on the 16 count gray Ada. And you know what this reminds me of? If you have ever read Little House books, if you remember the time that they go to town at Christmas and they get a peppermint stick or a candy cane, I can't remember, and it was the very first time they'd ever had one. And I still remember that imagery from the book where they were outside in town and it was nice or it was nighttime and they were sitting in their wagon. <laughs> so this is what this reminds me of. And that's why I bought it because it was a happy memory. I read all those books or had them read to me as a child and I love them. Holiday Village. I think that's got to be one of the most beautiful skies out there rendered in cross stitch or in this case half stitch but another beautiful festive scene winter celebration i love the glow of those christmas lights on the tree very sweet and the sweet village town. And this is also stitched on 16 count light blue. Okay, this one, I have two of this. So I found this on eBay last year and it was obviously from a seller who didn't quite know what they had because I think this is out of print. I'd sort of been looking at this for a while and couldn't find it for a decent price. Um, I also will not pay more than original retail for a kit. I mean, it would have to be super special, but I have three dimensions gold unicorns. Um, but I was, I would not pay more than what they were originally worth because that's still quite a bit. Um, so anyway, this one, it was, it was very affordable. I did the buy it now. Actually, I think I made an offer and, um, which was lower and they took it. So I got this in mail. And then two days later I went away on a trip and I went to a thrift store that I usually go to and I found this and I saw it and I thought, Oh boy, that's kind of a bummer that I just got this other one in the mail. And I was telling my husband about it and I said, maybe I should have bought it just for the floss. And he said, yeah, that was like, why didn't you, I would have told you to do that. So I had to go back the next day and it was still there and I picked it up. Now this one, you do have to sort the floss. Actually, no, I don't. It was already sorted by the previous owner and it actually was started just a little bit. 
I mean, not that it matters because I have another new kit, but at least I have extra floss if I need it because you do run out occasionally. I have run out with Dimensions kits. So yeah, I've got the two. And it, this was this was six dollars. Which I think the extra floss for six dollars is worth it. European Bistro. I think Mareshka also does this kit. Theirs is much more detailed and a bigger um, panorama of it, but it's lovely. You just feel like you could be there. And I've been to many cafes and wandered many streets that look just like that. Charming Waterway. And hey, if I ever get to Venice, I'll already have a souvenir. English Castle. This is also very pretty. This reminds me very much of the pond I'm was that I stitched a while ago in Japanese Garden, so I think it would be a while before I started this one. That's beautiful. I think somebody on Instagram stitched that and they took it with them. They actually visited that tourist site and they took a picture of a cross stitch and the view of the castle. I thought that was neat. Twilight Bridge. Uh, this was another one that I've been thinking about for years and I finally just decided to do it because the price is actually is really good and almost more affordable. Um, than other dimensions kits. So I ordered it from Amazon and when I got it, it was, it was old. Like the threads in the back were tied with that gold ribbon. I didn't know that this chart was old enough to, um, to, well, I didn't think it was that old. So I kind of hemmed and hawed about it and I thought, well, I, I really don't want to sort the, th the threads and in the listing it showed this. So I sent it back and I got my refund and then I ordered it again and I got this one. Almost to the bottom of the box at uh, Lakeside Village. Beautiful colors in this one. This is on 16 count light blue. There are a lot of half stitches in this one. And I have seen people on YouTube stitch it, and it does go a little bit, you know, fairly quick. This was a unicorn chart that I managed to get, and I did get it on Amazon, a Provence Market. Lots of happy memories with this one. And this is... I don't know, I guess a companion piece to Paris Market, which I've also seen people stitch, and it's very beautiful. So I think the two of them, it's too bad that they're not the same size or the same orientation, but I think they would both be very fun to stitch. And they're both on 18 count ivory Ada. Okay, last two. Sunset Mountain Trail. I bought this strictly for the colors. Um, I would stitch this just for the colors. And then if somebody said that they liked it, I'd probably give it to them because it's not really something I'd keep in my house. But that sunrise is just phenomenal. Or sorry, sunset is just phenomenal. And memory lane. Mm. 
beautiful cobblestone street. I'm assuming this is probably based on something in England, someplace in England. So that's what I have for the large uh, gold collection kits. Uh, let's see. Yeah, there's a lot here. Are there more that I still want? Of course there are. I have three unicorn charts. One of, uh, one of them is called Mary's Bouquet, and it's a vase of pink peonies against a blue-gray background. It's just stunning. Uh, the other is... No, oh, I can't remember what it's called, but it's a bird bath and it's got flowers behind it and all these colorful birds on it. And then the third one, I believe, is called Winter Morning. And it is some ducks on some ice in a field in a barn. And it's obviously the morning. And it's not something that I ever would have thought I would put up in my house. But when I saw that picture, it just launched me back to my childhood because the landscape in that one is very much what I grew up with. Okay, so I'm going to pause you and just get this pile out of my way and then I will get out my gold petite kits. So hold on. Okay, Dimensions Gold Petites which you always want to stitch and then you start stitching them and you think, holy cow, because they're no joke. Uh, they're the from the gold collection for a reason. Believe in Santa. I like it because it looks like an old fashioned post or like an old fashioned Christmas card. Snowman and reindeer. Look at how happy they all look. It's so sweet. And I was contemplating getting the stocking version of this. I'm not sure. Because I would think if I stitched this, I wouldn't want to stitch basically this portion again. A kiss for snowman. And I'm pretty sure all of these are stitched on 18 count eight now. This was a thrift store find, Santa's Feathered Friend. Yeah, so it reminds me of that stocking I showed you with Santa with the lantern. But he's got the cute little chickadee in his hand. And coffee shop. I would change the wording at the top to Murchie's Fine Teas and Coffee because that is a place I love to go visit every time I'm in Victoria, British Columbia. And this is Toy Shop. It's just, I mean, it's so sweet. You just, you feel like you could just walk in the door and hear the little bell ring as you open the door. Okay, that's it for the Christmassy one. So this is Bird Post. Lovely colors. I think that one's full coverage. Uh, beautiful bird. Overlook Cafe. So it'd be nice to stitch along with those your other European street scenes I just showed you. Stacked teacups. Now, either I saw or I heard uh, somebody was going to stitch these without stitching the words on the cups. And I think that's a really good idea because I don't particularly care for the words either. And sometimes it just never occurs to me to make certain changes. So that's what's so neat about watching other people's videos and seeing things on Instagram. Treasured friend. I just like the teapot in this, really. If 
butterfly vignettes. I think I got this at Charting. Yeah, I did get this at Charting Creations. Uh, Charting Creations is a needlework shop out of Nova Scotia. Um, they may still have some of these. In fact, I thought they did. Beautiful colors. Uh, Mariner's Light. Now this was one I found at a thrift store. It also has already been started. So I would just restart it and the threads aren't sorted. But that's okay. It's very cute. Beacon at Daybreak. This one's pretty popular and I think it's mostly because of the colors. And I think there are one or two more lighthouse ones. Sometimes they're hard to find, sometimes they're not. When they're not hard to find, I don't really want it. And when they are hard to find, then I think I need to have it. Bayside Cottage. Moonlit Cabin. Again, you look like you just could step inside. Dreaming of Tuscany. I mean, this doesn't necessarily say Tuscany to me. I've spent time in the south of France and that is what reminds me of that. So when I do stitch that, that is what I will be thinking about. Hydrangea in bloom. And this one has beads on it. So where you see the center of the hydrangea flowers, those are gold beads. So that'll be kind of fun. Hydrangea floral. Garden collectibles. Love all the colors in this. I think this might be a bit of a bear to stitch to, but I think it would be so worth it. Um, I'm hoping I'm not, I'm not going too quickly. I I don't want to go too quickly, and I really don't want to give us a backstory to every single chart because then we'll be here forever. Um, what's this called? Travel memories. The butterfly got me on this one. Uh, ornate butterfly. Uh, this is stitched on black and it has metallic thread. I don't know how that's going to work. <laughs> I guess I would predict a three week headache with this one because then I have to use my magnifier and my glasses all the time. A uh, twilight angel. Very similar to celestial angel. And this one has little charms and uh, has a moon charm and star sequins and lots of gold uh, metallic. But I think that's just a lovely little dimensional touch to it that sets it apart from other ones. Oh, and I think this is it. Okay, chickadees in spring. And I did mean to start this one this year, but I didn't. So that's it for those. And wow, I am going along faster than I thought. So I will have time to show you my regular dimensions kits. So I'm going to pause you again and I will see you shortly. These are the days that you hope your husband doesn't come home or, or your spouse doesn't come home early and see all of this. <laughs> so, all right. Uh, this is, this is Dimensions and it's one of the Daydreams kits. 
So I picked both of these up at thrift stores. Um, this one, they come with the glass. I don't, uh, Snowbirds, that's what this one's called. And every year I think, oh, I'm going to stitch that. That'll be quick. And every year I don't. But I do love those birds. And then this one is called, this one doesn't say, nope, sorry, Winter Walk. And so these are the ones with the printed mats, I guess what I meant to say. So you just stitch this part, it comes with a printed mat, and then it comes with the glass and the mounting things. And it's too bad that they discontinued these because they had some really beautiful ones. And I don't think I did too much stitching then, so. Okay, so these will be my smalls, my small kits. And then stitch that one. Um, poppy pear. And in one of my next videos, I'm probably going to do a poppy pattern parade because I have quite a few butterfly dreams. So these are much easier than the Dimensions Gold kits, if you didn't know. You probably do know if you're watching this video. However, if you don't, these ones uh, have less colors. They're on a higher or a lower count fabric, I should say. They're much easier to stitch. Uh, this day verse. There's a lot of back stitching there. Be a light. This one is stitched on navy blue, Ada. And actually, even if you didn't want the words on there, it would still just be gorgeous. And even if you had some of those gold sequins, either the stars or just regular ones, I think that would also be gorgeous on there, just to embellish it. Uh, Joyful Floral, this is also stitched on navy blue. Black Moon Cat. When I stitch this, I'll give it to my daughter. But it is very sweet. Black Ada again. Um, and oh, I mean, that's all we have the colors. So it will be quite effective. A Dog's Love. When I stitch this, I'll be changing mostly everything. Um, well, I'll be changing all the colors for sure. Because my dog is a female. And I just would totally girly it up. Oh, sorry, that's not dimensions, but it's in with the stuff. If you sew it. Okay, so these are, and these are gonna crinkle, and I apologize. Um, these are new, new dimensions mini kits. So they come with a hoop that's already painted, or it's already um, decorated. So I had not seen these on any of the other sites, but I um, stitching sites, but I did see them on Amazon. So that's what the hoop looks like. And there's just your package. So we have this one, um, Birdie Teacup. And, okay, this is not new, but I got it about the same time. Tea time. I just like the colors in this one. Okay, so these ones are from Amazon and they're kind of, I'm going to say, companion pieces. So this is a watering can. Looks like that. And it also has the printed hoop. So I only ordered one of these and it showed up in a package like this. So they obviously forgot to separate them when they got them into the warehouse. And then I ordered this one, which is a companion piece. Very sweet. And it's got like a blue hoop. And they also sent me two. 
So that's, um, that's okay. I'll have two little gifts, but I thought those are really sweet together. And if I wasn't holding this box, I'd show them to you together. And this is a Dimensions learn -a craft Now I had some bad luck with another learn -a craft I'm hoping that this one will be better. I just like the flowers in the jars because I do have other kits with flowers and jars, as you'll see soon. And I thought it would be nice with those. Okay, and now this next batch of smalls are Christmas. Let it snow. I like to do these at Christmas. They only take, I don't know, a week or two. I've done a couple and then I just put them in a five by seven frame and put them up with my Christmas decor and it's just nice. Um, oh, these are gold collection petites. This was French horn collection or French horn ornament. They're awfully big for ornaments, but still they're very pretty. Bell's ornament. I did purchase these on Amazon, I think in 20, 2018, and I, I haven't seen them for a while. So again, I'm glad I got them when I did. I know I have a lot. However, some of these I can't get anymore. Uh, Peace ornament. This is part of a bird series of Christmas ornaments. Little chickadee. And this is the love ornament. And it's a beautiful cardinal. Faith ornament. I'm guessing that's a little sparrow. Noel ornament. Now the thing about these, yes, yeah, these ones, they come with everything, including the red felt for backing. But when I opened them up, a lot of the red felt had sort of rubbed off. The red dye had rubbed off onto the Ada. So I will have to change the Ada. Uh, Joy Goldfinch, that's one of my favorites. One of my favorite birds. And Wish, the sweet little chickadee. Mistletoe ornament, really like this one. And then we have some that are on perforated plastic. So this is the Warm Hearts ornament. I haven't done too much stitching on perforated plastic. I'm assuming it wouldn't be too much different than perforated paper. I just wouldn't have to be so scared of folding it in half. Uh, Hope ornament. Let it snow. Winter song. And again, I bought all of these on Amazon. And then this is part of the collection. I don't have the whole collection. I'm, I won't get the whole collection. There's, um, there is one I would like to get. It's the little angel. Um, but this is the little bear. And the Santa. And the tree. So I think this is part of a set of maybe six or eight. Like there's a train and a reindeer and a snowman and an angel. So I would like to at least get the angel, but I have to get her at a good price. We shall see. Okay, so that was Christmas smalls.
And now we have Dimensions Regular. Whoops, sorry. Uh, Garden Door. George Bjorklund. It's nice that this is an oval shape. And it reminds me very much of um, some of that artwork from the 80s or the 90s. This is an old one. I found this at a thrift store and I got it specifically because of the linen. It was $5. Everything was in the kit. I just wanted the linen because I had never um, used a raw linen before. And then when I got looking at it and I was just going to redonate everything else, but then I looked at the floss and the colors are so beautiful. So I actually decided to keep it and I'm going to stitch it, but I'm going to stitch it on a different fabric. Actually, I'm going to stitch it on an Ada, a blue, like a sky blue Ada. And I might change the verse. Uh, it does have the Serenity Prayer on there, which I do really like, but there are some other fantastic quotes I wouldn't mind putting on there. Uh, this is a new one, Rose Tea. And this one's from Amazon too. I should probably not say that. I should just tell you if it's not from Amazon. Okay, so this one is under the Creative Accents brand, but it is Dimensions. Um, I got this from somebody. She was in one of my stitching groups in Ottawa. And before I moved away, she was clearing out some of her stuff. She was having a D stash. And I said, sure, I'll take it. So I do have to sort the threads on this one, but I don't mind because I do have the floss card, the DMC floss card just so I can kind of match things up. And um, yeah, it's nice. It, it will be worth it. Parisian Bicycle, I bought this strictly for the fabric. I was just gonna make Christmas cards with it because it's a mint green Ada. And I also bought it at the dollar store. It was two bucks. But I have since seen people stitch this and it's really pretty. So I'm going to stitch it too. And I, I really like the, um, the green Ada that's on. It's just like a mint green. Yeah, that's the same one. I bought a couple copies because, uh, like I said, it was $2. Yeah, I just wanted the fabric. Butterfly Fairy. This is stitched on black Ada with pretty much just all pinks, reds, and purples. Very pretty. I don't think I would do the wording on there. I just leave it off. I think it's pretty enough about it. And its companion is Twilight Select. Again, stitched on black Ada. And it's just all blues and grays. So very, very nice. Again, my daughter has laid claim to that whenever it gets done, like maybe when she's 80, because she loves fairies. Um, teacup birds. Initially, I didn't think I wanted to stitch this, and then I thought, well, I don't have to stitch them all in a row. I can just stitch the ones I like, so I'll probably stitch this one, maybe these two. Very sweet. Indian Peacock. Look at those colors in there. So the regular dimensions are mostly stitched on 14 count. I'm hoping I'm not going to make a liar of myself. But they're mostly 14 count and they're easier. They're less colors. But you know, they're still beautiful. I've stitched um, a couple of these just regular dimensions and they're just beautiful. Uh, Winter Cardinals.
And this is on a light gray, Ada. Ice Cardinal. And that those ice covered branches are so realistic. I mean, I love a good ice storm, but only when I don't have to go anywhere and all my family is home safe and we can just, you know, snuggle in and not have to go anywhere. Because, yeah, that ice on those branches is just, I can't believe how real it looks. Photorealism, I think it's called. Oh, this is pretty. Look. So, hummingbird and poppies. I, I don't think this is out of print. It's just sometimes I can't ever seem to find it. And then other times I see it lots. So and, uh, um, Hirschner's is a good place to buy Dimensions kits. They always seem to have a lot of selection. Uh, one, two, three stitch is good, but I find their selection is a lot smaller than it used to be. Uh, flowers in a tall box. You know, I think this might actually look nicer stitched on a different fabric because everything is very pale, but maybe it would just do like, would do better with a colored mat to bring out the colors more because it is quite pale. Like it's not the first kit I'd reach for. If I wanted to stitch something new, but I'm sure it's gorgeous when it's worked up. Tulip Drama. So this is also stitched on black. Very dramatic. And those are the colors. So this is one. I mean, I think it's a stunner as is. But I saw somebody on Instagram and they stitched it on an aqua fabric. And it was just gorgeous. The flowers still just popped right off the fabric. They are popped right off the background. And so that is what I think I'm going to do. Like a beautiful, beautiful blue. So think of, if you know, picture this plus um, glacier. It was like that. Butterfly and daisies. This is stitched on a lovely minty green. And I always thought that this would benefit as well from the addition of some blending filament or something sparkly. wildflower wreath. This is pretty much, um, or I usually always pull this out when I'm deciding what I want to start next. I'll, you know, I'll grab like five to 10 kits to decide. And this one is always in the mix. It just has not been chosen thus far. It's so bright and pretty. And actually this would look really nice on even a blue fabric, I think. It's just gorgeous. Hydrangeas and shells. It's just a creamy Ada. Paris hydrangea. This is one I would also switch the fabric out for an even weave because this is all um, stitched. This isn't printed. Uh, and I think it would just be easier than trying to pierce that Ada. But gorgeous. I, like, I'm surprised that this isn't a gold collection kit because I had a look at the chart and I don't know, it just seemed kind of complicated. Mason Jar lineup. Again, gorgeous colors. I love the way they do the glass and the jars. Beautiful colors. Roses on a white chair. This is stitched on a beige kind of. Um, very pale. This one's probably at the bottom of the list. 
near the bottom of the list. I would have to see it stitched. It's probably gorgeous. In fact, maybe I did see it stitched, and that's why I bought it, because it wasn't something I thought I'd do. A uh, poppy pattern. Oh, look at this. Like, just look at those oranges and pinks. I don't know if I'd stitch the border. The border is all half stitch. I just have a feeling it would be super boring, but it is very pretty. But I don't like to be bored. That's usually the uh, kicker for me. Very nice. Wildflower Trio. So what is that? Three now of flowers and jars? But like I said, they do a good job. Garden Bouquet. So I think of the flowers and jars, this would probably be the first one I want to stitch. And it's got great colors in it too. Flowers of Paris, they released this on black fabric as well as this fabric, which is a tan color. And boy, I had a hard time deciding which one I wanted. And now I don't even know that you can find the one on black. That's also very effective. Is it essentially the same chart, the exact same picture? And flowering jars. And this is on a printed Ada. So all of the board back here is printed and then you stitch everything else. And then there's a mark on the chart for you to start and like little blank spaces to make sure that your jars are in the right spot. And hopefully I would get it right. Bloom's Flower Shop. which has a lot of the same colors as all of the ones in jars that I just showed you. So like they could all go together, you know, in your fantasy house where you've stitched all your things and you frame them all. Village canal. This reminds me exactly of a town in France which is why I wanted it. Because when I look at it, I am there. I am driving across this bridge and looking back and that's what I'm seeing. The Art of Tea. Those would be nice just to stitch them singly even and you know, put them on a card. Uh, Glory of Autumn. And I almost thought Mareshka did a rendering of this as well. I know somebody else did, but much more detailed. And this is on an Ivory Ada. Sorrento Hotel. This is on a Beige Ada. And if you watch Patricia K. Patricia K on Floss Tube. She does Floss Tube videos four times a year. She has stitched this, but she moved this word over so that she could include the O. And I think that's a really good idea. Garden steps. I don't love the cats in this. Um, the reason I bought it is um, 
many times when I've been to France and you wander up and down the little cobblestone streets, this is exactly what you see as these little stairs and they always have pots of herbs and flowers on them leading up to people's doors. So that's why I purchased this one. Okay, I've got two more from this bucket and then I have some Christmas ones and then I'll be done. Uh, Cafe by the Sea. It's just a nice, calming, restful looking picture. And Purity, Strength, and Truth. Christmas ones. Look, more things in jars. Birds and berries. I didn't want to buy this until I saw it stitched. And then, of course, you never want to get it until you see, until you see it stitched. You actually never really know. So, uh, very sweet. And I have... Five more. Snowman Lantern. So this is stitched on navy blue. Uh, will be hard in the eyes, but I think it'll be totally worth it. Garden Shed Snowman. I'm not a huge gardener, but I mean, the snowman in this one is so cute and when I think of my friends who garden, I don't know, I just, I like this for that reason, I guess. This is very sweet. Christmas jar ornaments. Now I've seen, uh, or I've seen this stitched in a different color, but I think, when I stitch this, I don't care for the red, so I'd probably just make it the same color or just pick from, uh, just floss from my stash and just make it just a, a blue or a green color or even gray. I'm not in love with the red, but this is also stitched on perforated uh, plastic and comes with the metal and it's full coverage. Um, and again, I just was watching somebody and they were stitching this and leaving the words off. And that just never occurred to me to do that. And I think that's a great idea less backstitching on the perforated plastic. Now this one, I just got this, I don't know, a couple of weeks ago at the thrift store. So it didn't, no, there's fabric there. I have to sort the gloss, but these are very pretty. I can take that out. I thought those were quite nice. Okay, I think that's it. I'm just gonna pause you just and have another quickie look. And it looks like that's it. I'm sure I have another one around here. It was a gardening one. I don't know where it is. So that's it for my dimensions parade. I hope the lighting was okay. I guess I'll find out when I rewatch this. Um, uh, actually that's pretty good. I thought it was going to take over an hour and a half to do that. So if you have any questions, just let me know. Just put something in the comments below. Um, yeah, dimensions kit parade. So, um, I probably won't do a kit parade of my other kits. When I did my last round of kit parade, the dimensions ones were the most popular. So I'll probably just leave those up. But anyway, thank you for joining me today. And uh, one of these days I will show you some of my finished stitch dimensions kits. I wanted to do that today, but I didn't really have time. So thank you again for joining me. And uh, again, another regular 
last two, probably three or four weeks. But until then, happy stitching. Um, happy days, friends. <laughs>